Afghanistan is a landlocked country with an estimated population of over 35 million, dispersed across the largely mountainous terrain of 652,000 square kilometers without many viable alternative transport modes. Roads are the principal means of transport serving 90% of Afghanistan's travel demand. The international donor community has invested over $4 billion in rebuilding and expanding Afghanistan's road network by over 9,200 kilometers since 2002. These investments were vital in reducing travel time by as much as 75% and transport costs by up to 40%. Despite the expanding network, road infrastructure remains underdeveloped. A significant portion of the strategic road network is unpaved with major road links, essential for economic development, remain undeveloped. In addition, with the expansion of the network and the growing demand, new challenges came to bear. Lack of maintenance has reduced serviceability for a majority of roads, and the requirement to manage the network has become more demanding. In this video, we will delve into the compelling narrative of Afghanistan's pivotal infrastructure undertaking, the Yakolang Highway of Deir e Souf. This initiative transcends mere road construction. It symbolizes the establishment of a robust economic and social nexus between the northern and southern regions of Afghanistan. Envision a roadway winding through the picturesque valleys of Samangan, leading to the verdant plains of Bamiyan province, traversing mountains, foothills, and lush expanses, all while fostering profound connections between diverse Afghan regions. It is not merely a road, it is a lifeline for the nation. As we navigate through this narrative, we will unveil the remarkable potential embedded in this project. Upon completion, it possesses the capability to bring prosperity to impoverished families in the region laying the groundwork for trade development and national advancement. This project represents a dream on the verge of realization, promising to liberate these regions from their geographical constraints. Join us on this journey as we explore the concerns, aspirations and expectations of the individuals directly affected by this initiative. We will also investigate the ripple effects this development could have on the Afghan economy. On January 09, 2017, Afghan Minister of Public Works, Mahmoud Bali and China Road and Bridge Corporation's Vice Chairman, Lu Shan, signed a $205 million deal for the Deir e Saf and Yakolang Road project. The initiative, witnessed by President Mohammad Ashraf Ghani, aimed to boost Afghan economic growth and connect provinces. The 178 kilometers road will link Deir e Souf in Samangan to Yakolang in Bamyan, passing through 37 villages. Part of the National North-South Corridor, the project's first phase from Mazari Sharif to Yakolang is complete. The road is expected to enhance connectivity, benefit local farmers, and facilitate the exploitation of a coal mine. Funding comes from the Asian Development Bank with completion expected in three and a half years. The asphalt work has already achieved a satisfactory completion rate, and as it winds through Dera Suf and Yakalang valleys, it holds the potential to uplift thousands of impoverished families. Economic experts anticipate that the completion of this road will bring prosperity and economic well-being to many households. Inaugurated seven years ago by former President Ashraf Ghani, the construction work is still ongoing, representing a lifeline set to unite Bamiyan province with the north of Afghanistan through Samangan province. The Afghan government, in collaboration with the renowned Chinese road construction company CRBC, embarked on an ambitious journey to complete the Yakolang to Dar e Suf Highway at a cost of $205 million within three and a half years. Despite its immense promise, this substantial project currently lies dormant, with its fate hanging in the balance. 
unfinished segments of the road also face the looming risk of deterioration. Based on the project plans and reports, the project comprises of building of a seven-meter road, eight big bridges, as well as constructing of one 94 small bridges. Yaka Langdara Esuf Road is a part of the North-South Corridor, which is going to be a short alternative route through central Afghanistan and will play an important role in economic growth, trade, tourism, and regional connectivity. According to a 2021 government report, the project is more than 58% complete. One major concern is the potential damage from heavy truck traffic until the road is operational. The North-South Corridor, spanning 99 kilometers, connects Samangan, Bamiyan, Dundi, and Uruzgan provinces before reaching Kandahar province. This corridor is not just a road, it is a lifeline connecting South Asia to Central Asia, laying the foundation for transit and trade development. The collapse of the Afghan government in August 2021 created significant disruptions to ongoing projects. The sudden transition of power to the Taliban led to uncertainty and insecurity, causing delays and hindrances in project execution. International aid and financial support were re-evaluated, impacting funding for initiatives. The withdrawal of foreign personnel and expertise further impeded progress, leaving infrastructure and development projects in limbo. The volatile situation, coupled with administrative changes, logistical challenges and shifting priorities, contributed to a state of flux, adversely affecting the continuity and timely completion of various projects across the country. As the construction of the Yakalang to Dare Suf Road has reached a standstill due to the suspension of funds from the Asian Development Bank, the situation is in a state of uncertainty. The Taliban government claims a 64% completion, but skepticism persists among economic experts about the release of frozen funds supporting Afghanistan's currency. This project, if completed, holds the promise of revolutionizing transit and trade in Afghanistan, offering improved infrastructure, efficient transportation, and numerous job opportunities for local residents. This transformative project has the potential to unite regions, provide economic growth, and offer hope for a brighter future in Afghanistan.